Hi, I'm back in the current kitchen. Um, people are starting to freak out, I think. I had to put a sign up in my salon today saying that I'm only allowed three people in at a time, that's including myself. I'm having to sterilize everything in between customers so that they know that I'm doing my best to keep everybody safe. Yeah, it's a, a little bit silly and weird, but that's what we have to do. So. I'm going to stick to the plan. I'm going to do stuff that you can get from the pantry only or that has a substitute. So today it's quarantine corona corn cakes. I could have said fritters, but it doesn't sound as funny when you know quarantine corona corn cakes. Anyway, so um, yes, we need the corona. We need some olive oil, flour. Now, if you can't get normal, just you can use either plain or self phrasing, it doesn't really matter. Um, you could use coconut flour, chickpea flour, any other flour. It's just to bind the ingredients together. Doesn't have to be fancy flour. Can of corn. Sure, all you preppers out there have one. Um, salt and pepper for later. Aha, uh -huh, the lemon is for me. Oh, we could put a bit on for garnish later. Um, garlic, again, fresh if you can, but you can always go for the old jar. Now, this one is a bit controversial, just a little bit, because there doesn't seem to have been many left in the shops. An egg. I'm using an egg. Now, I'm only using one. If you can't get any eggs, what I'm actually going to do is I've worked out a little recipe that you can substitute egg protein for. It's made out of chickpea juice. So, I'm not going to do that one now. I'm just going to do the corn cakes. I'm going to do a separate video to show you how you can make chickpea juice into egg substitute, you can keep it in the fridge and then use it because all of the psychos have bought all the freaking eggs anyway. So yeah, if you want um, to be notified when I do the egg substitute video, hit subscribe and that way you'll get notified. Get it? Hit subscribe, you'll be notified. You should start like a wrapping, wrapping channel as well. Technical malfunction, dodgy phone holder. Anyway, hopefully I can edit it together. Might have only taken me like half a corona to actually do the last recipe, which was the quarantine white bean dip. It took me like six coronas to edit the freaking thing. I'm like getting too old for this or something. I should have got my 11 year old to do it, but maybe that can be her new job if school gets shut down. She can be my like full time video editor. So, I'm not going to get the lemon in my eye this time. Cheers. Welcome back to the Corona Kitchen. Cooking under quarantine. So, start saucepan. We'll chop the garlic. Half an onion. Um, I have seen heaps of onions in the shops so far, however, you know, you can just leave the onion out. Like if you go to the shops, you want to make corn cakes, you don't have to do the technology is not loving me today. Oh my god, if my fall, phone falls down one more time, I think I'll be really annoyed. Anyway, chop the garlic. A little bit fine. Doesn't have to be super fine. <laughs> if you can hear weird noises in the background, it's him watching the Raiders game. And I think he's yelling loudly enough to make up for the fact that there's no like crowd. So, you know, he was upset that the, the home advantage is gone, but 
you know, he'll make up for it. So, minus the lemon seed. Garlic in the pan. I uh, reckon half an onion is plenty. And what we're gonna do is rather than just putting the onion and the garlic in raw, we're gonna saute it because it really softens it. And it means, like the corn and the flour and the egg, it doesn't really need a long time. Oh my God, I just touched my face. I need to go wash my hands again. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's hard to not do that. I caught myself, I was doing hair the other day, I got a really itchy face. And I was like this. I think my client wondered what the hell I was doing, but then I think once they realized they appreciated that I wasn't touching my face. This is gonna be the end of us all. Anyway. So bit of olive oil in the pan, and I'm just gonna put that on really, really low heat while I'm getting the corn ready. Okay, so corn. Again, you can use fresh corn, but candy's good and it'll be in every prepper's laundry. There you go, roughly half in. Again, use a stick blender, normal blender, whatever, a bit more olive oil. And we're just gonna like zhuzh some of it up. So the corny flavour goes away. What about corny quarantine cakes? That might be funnier. Okay, so grab a bowl, creamed corn in, um, onion and garlic is still sauteing, so egg in, a little bit of salt and pepper, a bit of seasoning. Not too much. I mean, my kids won't eat if it's got too much in it, so you know, that's not the point. Rest of the corn. About a quarter of a cup of flour. Like I said, you can use any flour. It doesn't have to be really plain. I'll just be a bit more dense. You can use chickpeas flour. Sauteed onion and garlic in. Use the same saucepan so you don't have like a crap load of uh, washing up to do. Bit more olive oil in the pan, and then after we've mixed, I'll take you over. Um, you can experiment with your seasoning as well. If you want to put herbs in, you could use fresh herbs, dried herbs, whatever herbs. Anyway, this is just like the basic simple recipe. If you wanted, you could even, like if you wanted to get some more veggies into the kids, you could use um, grated carrot or potato. You could even chuck peas in, whatever. Leave it up to the family's tastes, right? So, kind of looks like vomit, but whatever, it'll be delicious. Okay, pan from the sauteed onions and garlic, so you don't have to do a whole lot of washing up. In goes the mixture. All right, you'll see them going a little bit golden around the edges. Okay, first batch ready. Now, I'm using one precious, precious piece of paper towel. I had a square to spare. I'm gonna cook the rest and then I can tell you exactly how much this recipe makes because I actually don't know because I'm just really good at like making shit up so I'll keep going and then we'll be able to figure out exactly how many okay so that little recipe has made 10 quarantine corona corn cakes I've actually got in the Corona Kids. They're gonna taste test for us. They're pretty fussy. 
So please cross your fingers that they don't just say they taste like poo. They said they're gonna be brutally honest and I'm actually really scared. Uh, so, I can do this, say, hi, hi. it's the Corona Kids. Hi, you in the house, mages. Nah, <laughs> right, now. I'm the one with the really sensitive tongue to stuff. It's true. So like, I, I have way more taste buds, so I can taste even the tiniest I'm scared. mistake. Anyway, so you can serve with salt and pepper, Lemon juice if your like kids lemon. like it, they I don't. Like natural lemon. yogurt spread. Oh, Rosie wants natural yogurt and they can dip dip. Do you want natural yogurt? Um, I'll oh, yeah. bit, yeah. Not too much. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. We're rationing, they mm -hmm. can't have too much. Right. That's, this is pretty much the normal amount I have anyway, so. Okay, go kids. Can I put some salt on it? Or yeah. is it really cool? Yeah. Oh, like that? Yeah. I'm spreading it out. You're spreading it out? Okay. That's just another little bit. Okay. I'm going to try. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try Whoa. a bit. <laughs> with and without yogurt. So, this is the one mm -hmm. without yogurt. Rosie, Corona Kid Rosie, what do you think? Thumbs up, medium, or thumbs down? I tried without um, the yogurt and it, it tasted that. Medium? And then I tried it with the yogurt and it tasted that. Excellent. All right, so we get a medium to thumbs up from this one. Now I'm trying Ooh. with the yogurt, and hopefully my mouth doesn't burn up again because that would just be annoying. <laughs> hey. My head still hurts when I bumped it at school. What does Corona Kid Two say? Mm -hmm. I say that it is the best thing I ever did. So can we have this for dinner tonight, Mum? Yes, lucky because oh, yeah. I have <laughs> eight more. Um, so without it, I um. I so <laughs> preparation time for the quarantine Corona corn cakes is one and three quarter beers. I also did the washing up while the corn cakes were cooking so everybody's a winner all right now if you want to see the substitute egg recipe chickpea juice business this is the best thing i ever tasted i love it thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up triple thumbs up <laughs> subscribe you'll be notified cheers thank you from the corona kitchen